Hey guys, hope you're doing great. We're going to be reviewing today Amouage's Epic Man. Uh, it's going to be a first impression review. I haven't smelled it before. Uh, the samples, I got it from a good friend of mine. Um, let's see. He hasn't sprayed much, so he probably didn't like it. Let's just have one spray on the paw. Okay, this one is special, definitely special. Oh wow, you're getting a lot of notes. I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, myrrh, geranium, white musks in the background for sure, leathery um, wood I must say, but it's not a very skanky wood, stinky wood. It's a subtle wood in the background mixed with some kind of synthetic leather. It smells a little bit like animalic, not in a bad way, like um, some kind of rotten, stinky stuff. Mm, it smells very nice, calm, soothing. Yes, this smells like uh, a nice cup of tea with some cinnamon, with some spices, with some a a Arabian spices inside of it. This one is really a good one. I also like the green bottle, so it might just have an effect on me, but I love it. It's it's a good one. Definitely only for men, I must say. I don't think a woman can pull this one off. As it says, Amouage Epic Man, only for men, basically. But some of their manly versions can be worn by women. You're getting a lot of nutmeg. Like, this is really a nutmeg-dominating scent. So you definitely got to be into, into nutmeg. Saffron is also there, but it's not very prominent, so that's a good thing because in some sense if they put a lot of saffron it's just overdone, like too much of it. The same goes with nutmeg. Olibanum, some pink pepper, but not a lot. It's a nice incense a little bit woody, leathery, nutmeggy, saffrony scent. It smells very oriental, it smells nice, it smells calm and soothing. Uh, it doesn't make you go crazy like some of those uh, skanky, stinky woods, but this one uh, really gives you like a peace of mind, I must say. I'd like it if this one is was um, available in like uh, in like incense form, so you could uh, burn those incense sticks. Because it smells really nice, but at the same time it also smells a little bit like... Um, like some kind of a oriental bathroom sprayer like you you would think it is a bad thing but it is not a bad thing because some bathroom sprayers just smell very good now would you want to be smelling like a bathroom sprayer i'd say no but at the same time it doesn't smell 100 percent identical to one it's nice warm spicy the woods are there leathers it's it's a great scent um, it's not just one of those scents where you can pinpoint notes. It's nicely blended as you expect from an Amouage scent. And on the back it says evoking memories of the ancient Silk Road journey from China to Arabia. This woody oriental fragrance is inspired by the poetic splendor of cumin, saffron, cardamom infused with myrrh, geranium and the richness of wood. Musk, leather, patchouli, cedar wood, frankincense. Well. I'm getting the saffron, the cumin I didn't get, cardamom definitely there, mir is there, geranium there, wood, musk, leather, patchouli I'm not getting it, cedar wood is there and frankincense is there. It's it's I hadn't read this one in before in the back. It's really a nice uh, uh, spicy uh, Arabian scent in a very very good way. Like uh, this is done amazingly well. I must say I'm giving this one eight and a half out of ten. It didn't blow me out of my socks, so it's not getting a nine. It's just a very good scent, and it definitely smells niche, uh, because some of the Amouage scents do smell a kind of a designery. This one really smells niche, guys. And I would say, uh, go and get yourself a sample just to try it out, because this is pretty much the embodiment of a lot of Amouage scents that you're going to get. Uh, this is all going to be only for men and it seems like uh, it's more fitting for men 30 and over. I don't think this one is going to be for younger men, definitely not.
so many synths guys like they have li really overdone it with the notes inside of it price wise i do think this is a good price but i must say this is also not one of those scents that i will be like crazy about it's maybe maybe in my top five top six i can't say for sure because amouage has a lot of other great scents that are already in my top five the video is going to be coming it smells good and it smells also clean uh, I'm, I'm really happy that the oud is well done in this one it's really in the background and it's not making you go crazy the oud so they have really balanced the oud out the saffron the nutmeg the mir so it's it's um it's kind of also a weird scent so i must say that you you get yourself a sample of this one try it out and only for men guys only for men pretty versatile can be worn at a lot of occasions um it's just high quality amazing elegant sophisticated men's scent guys i'm giving this one eight and a half yes it's going to be an eight and a half at the end of the day quality wise is top notch guys hope you guys enjoyed the review i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and share the vid and comment down below what your thoughts are about this sense because i've been reading online that a lot of people are complaining about the newer formulations of amouage that they have been changing uh, compared to a couple of years ago and if this is true or not so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys ciao ciao